Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Knotts are over to Stevenage and today Knotts can we please please win a game of football that means going more goals than the opposition like I don't ask for much. Anyways not signed two new players yesterday uh, former Newport centre back Jamie Turley and the former Doncaster and Charlton left back Cedric Avina both coming in on free transfers. But two very important signings, Jamie Turley, from what I've been reading, uh, is a, is a no-nonsense defender. He'll head it, he'll kick it, and it's exactly what we need in the defence. Someone like him to play alongside a ball-playing centre-back like Elliot Ward and Cedric Avina as well to provide much-needed competition to Dan Jones at left-back. I'd also like to say a big thank you to everyone who wished me happy birthday yesterday. Thank you all for the birthday messages. Let's see if not can give me a late birthday present and I'll actually win a game of football. Come on Knots, come on you pies, let's do this. Apologies, it is pretty windy today. Uh, yeah, Jay, two new signings both start, Turley at right back, Avino at left back. Hussein comes back into the midfield for Vaughan. Hewitt's not even, not even in the 18, the match day 18. Yeah, in, in the 2013-14 season, here's a fact for you, we went uh, through the first seven games, we took one point from our first seven games, including losing the seventh game 5-1 away from home. We then won our eighth game, 2-0 uh, at home to Tranmere, and like this season, we played crew on match day 10. So, there is reason for hope, I'm feeling a little bit more positive today. Hopefully the changes and Cure having uh, a week with them, uh, his first full week on the training ground will help them produce a decent performance. Was he ever joining us here ahead of kickoff? Alessandro and Bisley have just picked up yellow cards in quick succession. But we've looked, we've looked okay. A lot better than normal. Not much to report on. So as I've almost choked on the chip, I'm going to hand the half-time report over to John. John, what have you thought of the first half? We need a new keeper. <laughs> what more that. can I say? The first that. goal was horrible. Absolutely horrible. He was on his knees before it was in his shot. He stands up, he catches it. Second goal, it's one of those good header, I guess. Yeah. Need a new keeper. Over an hour, we're not speed 3 2. We've, we've, attacked, we've attacked a lot more frequently this half. Heavy, Alessandro, a great ball through to Heavy to the third goal. Stead's had a chance as well. Well, Stead's had two chances actually. He should have scored them both. 
just need to keep on going because I really do worry when the ball comes to, comes to Fitzsimmons. Just got about half an hour to hang on. Oh, come on, Ethan. Go on. I don't know what the time is because we haven't got a scoreboard. I think it's around like the 80th minute, I have no idea. But it's free all. We've gifted these free goals, it's ridiculous. We've played, we've played really well going forward as well. So frustrating, agonising. Just so we can get another goal. But conceded three in a game once again, it's not good enough. Five minutes of added time, Thomas is on for Hussey, Alessandro's gone well to take the mid. Oh, come on! Nervous now because I don't know if it's going to be a, a winner or we're going to crumble to another defeat in the last minute. Oh well, actually that's the first time I've seen a score all season, so, uh, so I've missed the last couple of games, but um, yeah, two really poor teams, um, but it's nice to get a home point actually, to break the sequence of defeat, so yeah, we've got a point, we're still in the bottom two I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. point gains or point two gain. points lost? Yeah, both, both, yeah, both definitely, but um, there we are, happy days. Full time for you all, some positives, some negatives, a bit of everything in that game. Yeah, Knox really should have won that one. Stevenage weren't great, I'm not going to lie. Not Stevenage weren't a, a great side. We probably should have won the game. Stead could have had an hat trick as well. He had two chances really good at the start of the second half. He should have finished both of them. But there are positives. We looked really good going forward. We look, we look like we're in. Uh, we looked solid, As the, the annoying thing is we looked solid for certain parts of the game and it's just, sometimes we just switch off. Like the first goal doesn't happen if Fitzsimmons rolls it out to Alessandra. The second goal doesn't happen if the cross doesn't come in. And the third goal doesn't happen if Tootle is switched on, it's just... But apart from that, the defence actually looks okay, Ward and Brisley, you know, won the, he won the headers. They kept, they kept Alex Ravel quiet in the first half until he scored his goal. So, that's it for another match day. Knotts 3, Stevenage 3. An alright performance by Knotts. I, I think we should have won. Stevenage were not a great side, if I'm being honest. We looked we look really good going forward. We looked good going forward. There was a lot more, you know. There was good link-up play. Stead played well. Alessandro ran his socks off. Milson played all right in midfield. Enzio scored another another really good goal, cutting in from the wing and pulling it in the bottom corner. Yeah, there was some really good performances today. There was a lot more hard work in the team than there was in the past few games against Yeovil and Forest Green and Lincoln. Yeah, we, we, it looks like actual effort was there today. The, the effort was there, but we just cannot... We, we have got to stop conceding three goals every game because it's not like... Teams are, you know, tearing us apart. We we gifted Stevenage three goals today. The first goal does not happen if Ross Fitzsimmons rolls the ball out to Luis Alessandra. The second goal, we need to stop. We need the we need to stop the cross coming in, and we need to mark mark up at the back post. And the third goal, Tuto needs to deal with it. He needs to get rid of it. He need, he just needs to make sure uh, the flick. The, f the ball doesn't come back into the centre of the area. But they get back in. Danny Newton scores to make it 3-0. It's frustrating because we should have won. We looked, Like I say, we looked really good going forward. We just need to find that balance between attacking and defending. We need to just 
drill it into not Harry Kuhn needs to drill it into them on the training ground. We need to get a settled back four. And I still think we're, I, we're the midfield were okay today, but at points you can see there was at, at times you can see we needed Carl Henry in that position just to just to win the ball back like that because at some too many times we didn't win the second ball and that was very frustrating. There are positives. There are positives to take. Uh, it was important we stopped the losing run. Um, but we've just, like I say, we've just got to find the right balance. I've said it so many times. We look great going forward, but defensively it's a shambles. Do we need a keeper? Yes, we desperately need a keeper just to give competition. Fix him, and this is obviously lacking in confidence quite a lot. Um, would I give Pindrick a go? Maybe, maybe. Just We just don't know yet, but I'd... I'd get another keeper in and I'd, I'd make sure we get Carl Henry in next week because I still think we're lacking something in midfield. But other than that, you know, there's, it was a bit better today. And we can, we, can, we can take that point and we can work on stuff and we can get better. And hopefully we can start, we, well, hopefully we'll win a game soon and we can start climbing the table if you if in, if you've enjoyed the vlog give it a like comment down below your thoughts on the game say subscribe if you already subscribed subscribe if you're new be safe be champions and as always